Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Las, and in this video, we're reviewing the Emerson Knives Elvia. Specifically, we're gonna see how it stacks up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's get into it. First up is price, and this knife is made in the USA with premium materials. It retails for $250 from Emerson's website. This knife does go for $500 to $600 on the secondary market. However, for this review, we're gonna be basing it off Emerson's list price. And this knife scores four out of five on pricing. This knife would score five out of five. However, those limited drops make it really difficult for people that are interested to pick up this knife. Next up is functionality and design. This knife is a hybrid pocket knife offering many different applications. You get a 2.7 inch bird's beak blade with 154cm blade steel that has a Rockwell hardness of 58. The handle on this knife is 4.5 inches long comprised of texture G10 which rides on titanium liners. The opening mechanism is a thumb stud that locks it into place with the titanium frame lock. There is a lanyard hole on the back of this knife as well as a semi-deep carry pocket clip. I really enjoy the hardware that Emerson uses on their knives because in the field, you can even use a coin to adjust the tension of your blade. The Elvia is designed by Ed Calderon, who is a former counterterrorism officer from Mexico. He now holds sold out classes all over the world, teaching abstract survival skills not taught in basic academies or martial arts schools. He is well known for his non-permissive environment work as well as escape and evasion techniques. His Sneak Reaper logo is on the backside of this blade and I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Because of the background that Ed Calderon had, he wanted a knife that had a variety of grips, concealment options, but was still good at a variety of uses. This knife mimics a fruit knife commonly found in the kitchen and excels at food prep work. The grind that the Elvia sports is a chisel grind, which is similar to a Japanese chef's knife. This knife slices with very little resistance. The downward tip that this knife has is amazing for everyday carry uses, such as opening packages, getting under zip ties, and precision cutting work. The other intended use of this tool is for personal protection. The best way to hold this knife for that is tip down and edge in, which utilizes your back muscles to increase the effectiveness when cutting or puncturing. Emerson offers this knife in both satin and black coated finishes. Either option is extremely hard to detect when coming from concealment. The notch towards the end of the handle allows for easy edge orientation in low light situations. It also acts as a great retention device if caught in clothing or other organic medium. I truly enjoy how easy this knife is to operate in your hands, as well as having a variety of opening methods using that thumb disc. Primarily, you have the thumb flick, the spidey flick, and my favorite, the ring finger drop. This knife easily scores five out of five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. This knife has a very secure lockup that inspires confidence when using it. A strong detent also keeps the knife safely closed in your pocket. The Elvia holds a great edge and is easy to resharpen on the go. For instance, you can use the back of a coffee cup or the edge of a window to touch the edge up. I have had no issues with this knife and it is constructed with care and quality. This knife scores five out of five on dependability. Next up is versatility. The design of this knife lends itself to be effective in a variety of roles, from kitchen tasks to utility cutting work and even a primary defensive tool. The aggressive tip is the perfect blend of curve yet effective penetration. And who doesn't love some good penetration? The overall footprint of the Elvia is very slim and can easily be carried in a plate carrier, pocket, or purse. The versatility continues with this knife with the ability to easily manipulate and change the grip. To maximize the effectiveness as a personal protective tool, I recommend the tip down, edge, and grip. It's quite beautiful how simple yet effective this knife truly is. It scores five out of five on versatility. Lastly, is carryability. The Elvia is very comfortable in the pocket and easily conceals in the hand. The deployment method with the thumb stud takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but there's also another way that you can quickly open it using the weight of the blade. I would have really liked to see this knife come with the Emerson Wave feature that allows you to quickly deploy the knife as you remove it from your pocket. Not being able to switch the clip onto the other side of the handle and missing that Emerson Wave feature certainly ding it on carryability. However, it's lightweight, effective, concealable, and easy to carry overall. The Elvia scores four out of five on carryability. The Emerson Elvia is such a beautiful knife, not only in looks, but also in functionality of that blade shape. It has some very sinister capability. However, it's comfortable and easy enough to create a fruit salad in the summer. I highly recommend this knife if you love cooking and want to carry a folding fruit knife. It also makes an exceptional utility knife, as well as an amazing personal protection tool. If you have the opportunity, I highly recommend seeking out a class that Ed Calderon offers. Who knows, you might just see me there. Overall, this knife scores 23 out of 25 and is a 92% pass on the tactical tavern test. All right, everyone, that wraps up this review of the Emerson Knives and Ed Calderon collaboration on the Elvia. If you agree or disagree with the review, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. And also, have you taken a class with Ed? What did you think? Let us know. 
If you liked this video and you'd like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe because it supports the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications and share it with a friend so you don't miss Tactical Tavern Tuesdays and Thursdays. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical. Thank you.